want to talk to you today about energy efficiency, which is a really important thing to us here at Heritage Homes, and we're kind of the leader in that. We started doing uh, HERS ratings, home energy ratings, on all of our homes uh, years ago, 15 years ago or so. And I want to explain to you how we end up with a really low air exchange rate, which is the key to really having high efficiency. One of the biggest things we do is we glue all of the drywall and all the sheeting. You can see the guys right now are putting one of these up. You notice that they glued everything prior to putting that up. If I could butt in here for a minute, guys. Every piece of sheeting on this house, they glued every stud all around here like this, and they're now going to install that sheeting over the top of there. All right, not only do we glue all of that sheeting, notice every piece of drywall is glued and screwed, exterior walls, interior walls, all the way around the house. Now, what I want to explain is, a lot of people think that you have to use a special uh, closed cell foam or spider fiber or something to, to achieve a really great insulation package, and that's simply not true. What we found out by doing this, you create little individual spaces that are kind of uh, individual to themselves. When you do this, you create an envelope so tight that the air simply can't, uh, can't escape from the home. So imagine air gets into your home and it pressurizes. And it'll take the path of least resistance as far as it can until you stop it. When you do this type of uh, glue uh, application, you're stopping that air movement at all points all the way around the house. Once we're done, uh, we'll come back and we'll foam with expanding foam. Every one of these holes will get uh, foam shut. Any penetration going up, down, or sideways on the house gets foam shut. Every outlet, every switch, everything we can do to stop that air from escaping or entering is being done here. It's the system that we build with. This almost happened by accident. We found this out once we started doing hertz ratings, that by doing this type of, uh, of construction, you create this super tight envelope, results in a really low air exchange rate that is less than half of conventional building. It's the system that allows for that and creates that. So this is a two by six exterior wall here that you're looking at, and this is our 19 bat insulation. That's our standard. So we've got our 19 bat insulation. We're gonna have three quarters Celotex foam over the top of this sheeting, and that's standard for heritage homes. Many builders out there are using uh, house wrap, Tyvek, if you will. Uh, it's a great product, has no R value, but it does create an envelope around the house. The, uh, the Celotex foam will create that same continuous barrier around the home, adds another R value of five, and we foil tape all of the seams shut so you have a completely wrapped home, and I'll show you that a little further down the line. We also have this banding underneath these homes that runs from the top plate down onto the microlam rim joists here, and there's several of those throughout the home. They're wherever our engineer tells us that we want those. Those are put in there for strength as it travels down the road. It allows it to not flex very much. These homes are incredibly strong. Our 19 bat insulation is our standard three-quarter Celotex foam, and there's gonna be blown in cellulose in the attic, and we'll show you that in just a second. Our energy efficiency is about twice of what the average site-built home in America is, and I want to show you why that is. Uh, it has less to do with the type of insulation and everything to do with the system that we use that results in that energy efficiency and a really small air exchange rate. You can see this is blown-in cellulose insulation. That's what we're putting into the roof, uh, R40 to R50 or more, depending on the situation. This is the Celotex foam that I was talking about earlier. This is a Tough R, adds an R value of five. And we foil tape all of the seams on here. Again, that creates a continuous barrier all the way around the home. 
wood members will transfer cold uh, through the stud and by doing this, it will not transfer that cold in or out of the house or heat for that. What you're looking at here, this is obviously an infrared photograph. This home was done, this home was sited here. You can see all the wood members and everything. This had this had a house wrap on it at that time. They recited the home and at that time they put Celotex foam on there and it results in this. And so you can see the value of, of what the Celotex foam will do for you. More and more builders are starting to use it. We've used it for years. We do blower door tests on every home that we've produced here and that's done on site just prior to you moving in. What a blower door test will do for you is it, it will establish an air exchange rate. I talked about that a little earlier in this video. These air exchange rates, you can see some of them are 1.3, 2.37. These are very low when you consider that the average home being built in this country will exchange air five to eight times an hour. These are coming in, most of them, at about two and a half times an hour. Uh, we can establish a yearly cost, estimated cost, and some of these homes, here's a, here's a uh, 4,128 square foot home that they estimate will cost roughly about $526 a year to heat and cool, that's annually, folks. And these are real numbers, those are produced by the Herz Raider, who is an independent company that we hire to come and do the Herz Ratings on all of our homes. At the end of the build process, and the home gets delivered to the site. And just prior to moving in, the uh, professional HERS Raider, home energy Raider, will show up and they conduct a blower door test, they pressure check ductwork and that sort of thing, and they establish a HERS index, which you see right here. This particular home had a HERS index of 49. What does that mean? Um, let me show you. A HERS index, think of it like a gas mileage on a new car. If you can see this, this is the standard new home in America has a HERS rating of about 100. The lower your number, the, the tighter and the more energy efficient your home is. Uh, existing homes in this country, on average, that they're conducting a, a HERS rating on are coming in in that 130, 140 range. This home came in at 49, which is a little less than half of the standard new home in America today. Uh, and this, this is speaking to the energy efficiency that has a great deal to do with the air exchange rate. And again, that happens at Heritage Homes because of the system we use to build your home. 